in Malawi, um, I noticed a lot of different challenges that women face that, you know, we view them as challenges in America, but in Malawi, that's just sort of daily life for these women. So women in Malawi are very hardworking. Um, we were in the villages with them, and just seeing them carry their babies on their back where they're also holding something on their head. Like you see women who are like head of the household, cooking, cleaning, doing it without running water, without a stove top. Like they're out there over fires or they're using water pumps. Like they have all these different things to provide for them. Just alternate resources that we wouldn't even think of. Even though the women there might not have a lot, they're very proud of what they have. In Salingo, I noticed a young girl, she was probably about 10 years old. Um, she was sitting with her English book, um, and she just looked very attentive. And it, it was in the middle of the mobile medical clinic, where there were a bunch of sick people, and things were hectic and crazy. Girls knowing that they can do it, you know, just their own self-esteem. In the United States, we have a lot of uh, education about self-esteem, um, what we need here in Malawi. I think I'd like to take from them is how happy and resilient they are. And they're constantly, you know, trying to improve their situation. When I was in Montepila, a village in Malawi, one woman noticed me carrying around my camera and she came up to me and was like, take a picture of me in my house, take a picture of me in my house. And she was so proud of this small house. It was because it was hers and that's where her family was. Would do anything for their families and for their children. And just seeing them swing a child over their back and just tie it up really quick with one arm, like I can't even do that. That's pretty impressive. <laughs>